across the APIs, Salesforce, REST, S-Object, the Describe, and the Retrieve. Welcome to another session as we deep dive into the Salesforce APIs in Across the APIs. Now what we're doing is we're looking at the S-Object API and seeing how we can use it. In the first stops, we're gonna look at the Describe, taking a look at the description of an S-Object, how we can see all the descriptors about its attributes and its fields. We're gonna then take a step back and look at the global Describe across all the objects. We're actually gonna see also how we can retrieve specific records, not through the query, but through the Describe. It's very interesting, and we're gonna be digging deeper. So we're looking at across the APIs, the Salesforce REST op S object Describe and Retrieve. Salesforce has a number of APIs, each have their different capabilities. This is a diagram I've shown in other talks. We're focusing on, the, there's the browser on the right side and all the ways in, but on the left, the client application can hit the versioned web services, and we're focusing in on the describe. So what we're looking at is the S object. We're gonna to go to services data, the version S object, and we can then put in a specific S object and ask for its description. Let's take a look at that. So the first, but we're gonna in Postman and we're gonna take a look at the scribe, but the first stop is to authenticate. So I'm hitting the authentication and I am grabbing an auth token right here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an S object describe. So I'm hitting my URL services data V59 and I'm asking for account describe. Now the first step is to go to the header, paste in my authorization token, and we're gonna be asking it to describe the account object and hitting send. And this gives us a really nice graph of the account object. And this thing is very detailed and it'll tell us all the fields and lots of different attributes here. Now, one way I can test this is I can actually look in the org and I have created a custom field called special. So this is a little special field called special and it's nothing more than a pick list with value one and value two. So what I can do is I can come right here in this describe return and I can look for value one. And if I look right here, I can look and see the context. And what I have is I have a field called special and there is its API name, special C, and I can actually see the pick list values, value one, value two. Now we can test this, that this is live by going back into my um, org. So here in the org, I can actually add a new value three, a new pick list value that didn't exist before. And very quickly, I can re-describe immediately and look back for my value one, value two, and there is now value three. So this gives you immediate access to the metadata, current metadata description of this object. So this is very powerful. Now there's even more. If I wanna look at the layout, this is giving me a link I can follow. So what I'm gonna do is click here. The only thing I need is to go back and get my authorization header. I'm actually gonna to go to my describe right here and go to my authorization and grab the whole thing, go back to my new get and in the header, add a new authorization, put it here and what I'm gonna do is it just needs the contents. I miss copy. So it just needs the bear. And now I hit send. And now what it's giving me is it's describing the button layouts, the detail buttons, and it's even giving me access to certain things like the URL for the images, 
and any of these other details. So I have the ability to chase and see the themes, the images, and everything related to the describe. So this is very powerful. So through just a simple call, which is just S object, S objects, the name of the object to count and describe, I can be chasing deep into the actual metadata. I can see the list views, um, quick actions, row templates, compact layouts. So this is very powerful. Here are the account list views. And all I'm gonna do is go to my author, uh, go into the header and paste it in and then run. And now I can see all the list views from my accounts, new this week, so I have access. So pretty much you have very quick and easy access using the describe to the full attributes of the account object. Now we're going to go, and if you actually don't designate the object, you can do an overall describe and you can get the full object graph beyond the S object. So let's go back and see the global describe. So here I'm having data objects, S objects, And right now it's giving me the full list of the S objects. And you can see if I search on account, I can find account. So this is a way to give me a description of all the S objects. So it's just services data V59 S objects. So I can ask it for all the objects and this will only be the objects that can be seen by the running user who is executing, who authenticated. Now there's an other way to retrieve a record. In a previous session, I showed running the Sockle query. Well, here I'm gonna show how you can retrieve specific records using the S object interface. So in a previous session, I showed the query interface. We'll make sure it's at V59. I'm gonna query account, and this is giving me a list account, but what I'm gonna do is take Homer Homes or we can grab global media, grab its Salesforce ID. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into retrieving data by rows. So in this, we're gonna go account ID and I'm actually gonna paste this ID here. And what I'm gonna do is there's my bearer token and I'm gonna retrieve a single record. So by calling the S object, then the S object name and the ID using the REST API, it'll retrieve all of the details of that object. So this is not a query. This is a retrieve through the S object. Now you can also see that there's, this is the URL for retrieving the S object. I'm gonna grab my bearer token here and I'll be able to reuse it. But there are other links I can be following. If there were a photo, I could go into the headers, put in the authorization, put in the bearer, and there, this is a, a placeholder, but that could actually show me the photo. So I can see all of the embedded links in here for photo um, and for any other data, and I'm able to retrieve a object singularly. So this is a power, the ability through the S object interface to retrieve records by their ID. Now there's one other feature I wanna dive into today. Also in here is an updated. This is a capability to retrieve up records in the S object that have been changed in between a date range. This is a powerful capability for data synchronization. We'll be diving into it deeper, but I just want to give you a taste in this um, session. So what we do is it's the account, the ID, the updated with the start and end date. And so it notice that it's you got to have results within 30 days. You can handle the replication. There is a limit of 600,000 IDs, and we're going to take a look at it. So we're going to have the URL services data v59, which is our current version, s objects account updated with a start and an end date. And these are date times URL encoded. So I have one. I have one day ago, 11:6, and today and I've encoded the time factor. So this will find me one day of range, and I'm gonna hit send, and it has found a single record. What we're gonna do 
is we're going to increase this date to tomorrow's date. So we're going to go 11, 8. So we're going into the future. And there are two records covered. So we have now covered data into the future. And let's actually widen this range just in case this is there, this is running on different time zones. So we're going to go far, into, it definitely into the future. And we're going to go and we're going to update a record. So we're going to come from here. We're going to go accounts. We're going to take Bart's buildings, which hasn't been changed. We're going to edit it. And we're going to give it a special, let's give it a special value one and hit save. And now we're going to run this query again. And now we have the third record that has been changed. So with a updated, with a start and end date, we have the capability to monitor for changed data, get the IDs very quickly, and know the last date covered. So we're going to be delving potentially this into a subsequent session, but I just wanted to show the power of this um, S object get updated query in addition to the get rows and the global describe. So for going for selected records, this can be as effective or more than even using the get object qu the, the query. So we're going to keep diving into the APIs. We're starting examining if I have a org, how do I read its schema and understand it? And then even with that S object, how can I retrieve specific records? And then how can I see records that have changed? And we're going to be learning, diving deeper and deeper to how we can use the APIs to get at the data in Salesforce. So thanks for joining the session, describing the objects. Join me again, same bad time, same bad channel. Subscribe, Steve TechArc YouTube channel, and www.stevetecharc.com, and have a great day.